Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome to a new series. Today I am going to play Metroid and I am going to play the whole Metroid series as well as the whole Zelda series and Rhythm Heaven because both all the three games have uh, their anniversary uh, this year. So without further ado, let's go to the left of the level to jump this and get the morph ball uh, that I missed. Here we go. So now we can crawl under uh, small spaces. A Metroid is a franchise that came out 30 uh, years uh, ago. It, it actually um, came out this month um, in 1986. Um, the game is an actual, actually, I think, uh, a disc system um, title. And, uh, well, it got released as a cartridge for the NES. Um, so, yep, yeah. Metroid features uh, the main character Samus, um, well known from the Metroid fans. I'm actually a really huge fan of Metroid, uh, and uh, I pretty much played all the titles. I used to speedrun Metroid, but uh, specifically this title, I never finished it 100%. I, heck, I never even finished it. I never defeated Mother, Bra Mother Brain. It was. Uh, I, I always die before. Uh, it happens, and uh, I, I end up uh, losing my uh, my will to finish this game, and I always forget about it. But today is the day I am going to finish it. Today, uh, let's say these uh, future episodes, because I won't be able to finish this today. So here we are in the main tunnel. You basically have to jump all of these. Um, Platforms. I'm trying to do this as quick as we as I can because this tunnel is quite long and we find our first door now Our ob objective will be to get missiles because up here is another door which well Well, it's it's a it's up is up here somewhere. Let's go down again We need missiles to open a door because every single item in the game is uh, locked behind a missile door so you go through here and you get to the second tunnel uh, second shaft We need to go down and find the missiles. The missiles are in this uh, general direction. If you follow this path, you should be able to find the missiles uh, standing uh, your first missile tank. And thanks to this um, addition to your power suit, uh, you will be able to open red hatches. Now, as you can see, I am trying to kill the enemies as uh, slowly and efficiently as possible to not lose much life and uh, I I can tell you that this spot here ouch this spot here is a good spot to farm um, life um, orbs energy orbs uh, and uh, yeah you basically find your missiles here now you don't want you know you don't need to go further uh, you don't want to I think uh, I don't remember if you can actually do something in Norfair but we are going to go back and I'm following more or less the idea of uh, Metroid Zero Mission. The only difference is you get the missiles first, not the long beam. The long beam is got now. We are going to get it and it's going to be really useful to uh, kill enemies in the distance. Long beam is a must have. Uh, oh, this is really tight. Okay, let's get moving. We need to go up this uh, shaft once again. Well, not go up once again, but go through this shaft again. Uh, and go back through uh, the door we came, um, which is the one on the left, right, the first one on the left. Um, and from here, we are going to go up where I wanted, where I was uh, telling you uh, about that door. And we will be able to find ourselves uh, the long beam, which allows you to shoot um, uh, projectiles. Let's let's call them uh, your power beam which is the actual name. Uh, your power beam will be longer. So, yeah. I'm going to try to farm some uh, lives here. I'll be right back. And so as I was saying earlier, 
Here's a red door, you need 5 missiles to open this door. And inside this door you'll find a Shozo statue with a ball in his hands and it will give you a long beam. This is the item we were talking about earlier. The long beam reaches one screen of length. Uh, you can you can reach uh, all the way through the screen with this. And you can basically attack enemies in the air uh, really far away. However, the game only allows you to have three little uh, beam uh, balls uh, as a projectile on screen at the same time. So it's quite limiting, but nonetheless, you can still reach your enemies really far. Now let's uh, let's see if I can collect some missiles. Yeah, thank you. Because we are going to need five missiles to open each door, so make sure you have missiles with you at all times. The missiles instantaneously kill enemies, um, except for bosses. Um, and we are, there are two bosses uh, in this game, uh, aside from the final one. You need to uh, defeat to unlock the passageway to the last level, where you can fight Metroids. Now, the next step for this will be to go through those corridors, and I'll get to you when I get there. Once you arrive at this part, uh, you will be able to um, find yourselves an energy tank right in front, if I remember correctly. And this way leads to the power, the, the bombs, the morph ball bombs uh, also. So you grab that energy tank and the energy tank restores all your health, health at max. Um, it also gives you more uh, 100 more health to uh, lose, which is perfect, we really need that. This should be one of the first steps you do in this game. You can actually get it before you get the missiles if you feel like it. But uh, going through this way... Oh, what? Hey, invisible hit detection thingy. There was a weird enemy placement there. I wasn't appearing for me. But we go up and we will be able to find a... Um, actually, let me check what's down here. Uh, you know what? I think I always think about Metro Zero Mission down there it is a map station. In this game, you don't have any maps, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, let's get going. Let's go through this. Um, we have five missiles. It's fine. Um, we will probably be able to. Ouch! Ouch! Ah, oh, so many enemies. Well, let's try to uh, take them down. These uh, different colored ones are a little stronger. Um, they uh, deal more damage and have more health. Ouch! Ouch! Jesus. It, they are really, really difficult to defeat uh, if you're not ready for them. Let's see if I can get some no, no health. So I smash the door open and on the other side there's the Morph Ball Bombs. Which allows you to uh, lay down bombs and jump with your morph ball. That's the only way you can jump with the morph ball. Okay, let's see. No, there's nothing here. All right, no problem. Let's get moving. Um, sometimes there's secrets under uh, the, the Chozo statue. You'll you'll just have to uh, make sure you find them all. What's up there? We cannot go up there. You could freeze the enemies to go up there, but uh, you it looks like you can't. So we are going to go back and we are going to explore a little bit because since we have the Morph Ball Bombs we can now uh, find some secrets in this corridor. I cut it uh, earlier but now I'm going to show you what's here. Ah uh, no, not acid. Thank you. Uh, if you uh, fall into acid, try not to jump right away. Wait for Samus to fall just a little bit and you'll be able to jump. Uh, out of situations. If you're under a block, sometimes it blocks you. Whatever. Okay, let's see. In these cases, you can uh, jump right away. First secret you can find is here. You can actually break uh, some of those blocks under here. Let me try to kill this guy. Ah, run away. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to kill this guy uh, just to give us a little more room to uh, work. Uh, it's not here. Oh well. Let's see if we can go... Oh, it's here. Okay, we go down. This is not harmful. Uh, I mean, the, the acid. And you go down here, uh, through this door, and you'll be able to find yet another item. Oh, cheap shots. I hate that. When the enemies attack you, 
and you're in the door. That's so cheap. I died so many times because of this. Oh wow. Yeah, well, happens. I'm trying to kill that guy up there, but I can't reach it. So yeah, he will come down. Thank you. Now I kill those two enemies here and uh, open the door, but I'm <laughs> missing one missile. Yay! Oh wow. Let's see if we can respawn those guys. Yep. Thank you. Give me a missile. Thanks. All right. Let's open this hatch then. Five missiles. Don't forget. And uh, you here you get the ice beam. The ice beam allows you uh, to freeze enemies in place and jump on them, use them as a platform. Uh, let's see what's under there. Oh, look, it's a tunnel. The shaft. <laughs> let's go back then. Um, we don't need to, to worry about that too much. Um, uh, lag. This is a laggy game because of the number of enemies on screen at the time. Uh, it's, um, it's really... Uh, Pushing the limits of the uh, NES. As you can see, the enemy there is frozen. I can use my bombs to defeat it and uh, go through the door. Now, in this section, you cannot uh, really go any further down, so let's go up and uh, try to uh, find a way to uh, get more items, get more power ups. Um, and, uh, oh, well, there's invisible walls sometimes. You can use those to jump on, it's like an invisible block to help you get out of this situation right here. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, I recommend you to come back with the long jump, the high jump boots, uh, okay? Because it probably means I'm stuck here. But I'm gonna show you a trick that you can do with Metroid, which is the power bombs, they allow you to jump. Uh, higher, so like this. Wait, uh, okay, you have opened the thing and try to uh, bomb jump your way up. That's it. That's how you do it. You bomb jump, and as you reach the top, you jump as Samus. Uh, you you are allowed two jumps uh, thanks to that. But uh, I recommend you to come back with the high jump boots, which we'll we'll check out in the next episode probably. I'll show you how to get them. Uh, because I don't think we'll, we're gonna have time. I don't want a huge episode for uh, the start of the series. Now, I think there's another secret here. I'm not sure. Yep, there is. Let's see what's inside. Nothing. Great. It's a trap. So, we're out. So basically, don't um, fall into that hole. Just uh, as you could see. In Metroid Zero Mission, I think you can get a, a missile tank. But in this game, you don't get anything for that. So, ah! Get out of here, Samus! Come on, jeez. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. We will uh, go to Norfair. Yep, yep, I'll take that. Thank you. I love how the hatch disappears for a second. See you next time. Goodbye.